And Monday's annual Women in Entertainment Power Lunch, hosted by A&E Networks and The Hollywood Reporter, Elizabeth Vargas addressed the continuing double standards in media. Her address was a timely one, arriving on the anniversary of the Me Too movement, signalling a year since women the world over began employing the galvanising hashtag to speak up about their experiences with sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. Men are allowed to go grey and get wrinkled and they have gravitas, and women are ushered to the exit, Vargas said. Women have a much shorter shelf life. We see this constantly where women are losing anchor jobs in local news and in national network news because they have reached a certain age, whereas men can anchor until they drop dead on the set. While the past 12 months have seen some powerful changes in the entertainment industry and beyond, Vargas noted that there are still too few women in power positions. There are still so few women in the important jobs that count, the powerful jobs. I'm not talking about in front of the cameras, Vargas said, noting that no woman currently sits at a national news anchor desk either. The powerful jobs running these networks, running these news divisions, still belong to men. The investigative journalist also pointed out that the double standard extends to boardrooms and even our judicial system, referencing in particular the combative behaviour of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh during his Senate confirmation hearings as an example. If a woman had conducted herself like that, she would have been dismissed as hysterical or out of control, and yet, for a man to show anger is considered somehow admirable, she said. Vargas conceded that the process of true change is, of course, a slow-moving one, saying, it's not going to happen in a moment. When we talk about the one-year anniversary of Me Too, we are still going to be talking about some of these issues on the four, five, six-year anniversaries of Me Too. You don't fix this kind of enormous cultural issue in one year or with one event. She added, it's going to take a lot of conversations. This isn't turning a sailboat quickly in the wind. We are turning an oil tanker. To read more on the story, head to dhr.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.